Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. God bless. Before I start my today's debate, I want to thank everybody and I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone and say thank you. Thank you for your support for the last couple of months that I started uh, uploading my YouTube videos and debates and teachings. Thank you. Keep supporting us guys. We need all your prayers and if it's not too much asked, please consider supporting us through Patreon. I really need to start replace my old equipment. I, I need your help and prayers. Guys, keep supporting us. Keep subscribing and liking our videos. Download our videos, translate them and upload them on your YouTube channels. We need to cut out this disease we need to expose this satanic cult called islam and we need your help and support and prayers for that so thank you keep supporting us keep supporting our christian warriors like christian prince david wood sam shimon and including myself too we need all your help that we can get guys so enjoy today's debate and subscribe and like this video. God bless and enjoy this debate. He reached a place where he saw the, uh, the, the sun, the, the sun setting. Hmm? In a muddy spring, exactly. Oh, no. He saw it setting as if... No, 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 don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. No, 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 I'm Arabic speaker. Don't lie. It doesn't say as if. Liar, filthy scumbag. Don't lie. I've heard you. Uh, I've don't heard lie. Why are you adding as if? Why are you adding as if? Why are you lying? Not lying. You are lying. It doesn't say as if. Don't lie. I'm busting your balls here, bro. Yeah, what does that mean? Translate. Hmm? Translate. What does that mean? Taghribu fi ayn hamia. What does that mean? He reached a place where uh, the, the sun was setting. Where? So setting in what? Ayn hamia. What does that mean? When from the No, no, no. Translate. Tra translate. He saw it setting in a muddy spring. It doesn't say as if. It doesn't say as if. Stop lying. You have no shame, man. You are taqiyya Shia boy. Even during Ramadan, you use taqiyya. Shame on you, RZ. Yes, exactly. He saw it setting in the place of muddy pool. So he actually saw, guys, this is a physical thing. He saw the sun setting in a muddy pool. So he saw it with his own eyes happening. This is a physical, real thing. It doesn't say as if, as the filthy scumbag liars say in their translation. Never ever take notes. Never ever trust a Muslim translating the Quran from Arabic. Yes. What? What? Lying, basically. Who is lying? Who is lying? Who is lying? Who is lying? He saw it sitting from the place of a muddy spring. No, not from. In a place of muddy spring. Fi ayn in hamya. Fi ayn in hamya. In. Yeah. It's going inside, right? No, 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 don't. Yeah, what is Ayn Hamiyatin? Warm, hot spring. Muddy spring. That's what it means. Ayn and Hamiya. Right? Maybe it was the reflection of the. Oh no, the water's muddy. It's not going to be the reflection. No, it's not. No, no, it's not talking out. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah, still talking yeah. about a physical thing happening. He saw the sun going inside a warm, hot spring. Ayn and Hamya. 
warm spring, right? Yeah. That's what it means. It, it, looked, it looked as if. And as we yeah, and as we showed you earlier, guys, from the hadith, as we showed you earlier from the hadith, Sahih hadith, from Sunnah Nabi Dawood, clearly stating that the Prophet of Islam said, the sun sets in a spring of warm water. Ain al Hamya, grade Sahih in chain. So this is a yeah, Sahih that's Hadith. That's a shame that's in there. It must be really embarrassing. It is, so we can conclude, guys. This is a physical appearance. Actually, Dhul Qurnayn saw the sun going like this screenshot that you see in front of you. Uh -huh. It, The sun goes... Yeah, so the sun goes inside the muddy hot spring, as you see in the screenshot. Exactly like that. You're just lying at this point, Rob. What? You're just lying. I told you this is. Where a am I lying? I challenge you to show me where I'm lying. This is a perception. That's your own words, liar. Don't add. Oh, that, Don't do bid'ah to the that, Quran. Don't do bid'ah. Still use such. Uh, such Don't style. add. Don't change. So. Why are you lying, man? Why are you lying? In this morning, I just woke up. I just had my breakfast and you're already lying in my face. Shame on you. About your Quran. You're lying about your Prophet and you're lying about Muhammad. And Allah. Even, uh, wait a minute. Arabic. Wait, wait. Adi, Azi, Azi. You said that it looks as if it sets. All right. Now, I'm willing to believe you, but I don't read, I don't read Arabic that well. Is can you, can you say as if in Arabic? As if it's setting? Well, how would you say that? It looked as if it was setting. How would you say that in Arabic? Yeah, no, uh, the word uh, kama. Is that in the Quran though? Is that what no, you just said in the no, Quran? No, no. It's not? No. It says, it actually says, it actually says, taghrub fi aynan hamya. That means it sets in Literally, guys, it sets in a warm spring. That's what it says. It doesn't say kama. It doesn't say it looks as if. So he's adding, guys. He's adding words, his own personal words, inside the ayah. Shame on you. Again, how many times did I say shame on you for lying? How many times, guys? Proof already that, that you, you can't even read uh, the language. I am reading. I'm reading, liar. you not. Yes, I am. I'm reading the Arabic. The okay, Arabic. Why don't you read it? You read it. You read it. Yeah, read it. Read it, RZ. Read it. Read it. Read it again. Read it again. Again. So, تغربوا في عين حامئتين. Right? Hold on. Hold on. عين حامئت. What is عين حامئتين? Hot, warm spring. No, no. I mean. Uh, it's Makan, right? A place. Yes, it's a place, a what muddy does, pool where the sun goes inside. What does the ayah say before? Hatta idha balagha maghrib al shams. Yes. What is maghrib al shams? Shams is sun. Place where the sun is setting. It's a Makan also. Yeah, so and what's the Makan? What is the place? It's the hot spring. <laughs> <laughs> the sun, guys, is sitting in a muddy spring. Allahu Akbar! Even the Arabic world. Just all right, like. all right. Who wants to become a Muslim? Who wants to say the Shahada? Come on, guys. You are convinced, right? Cloudy no, Kaaba, you want to say the Shahada, Cloudy Kaaba? Hang on. Look, it says a couple of verses later. Maybe there's something else that he can say. That he walked further west which I really don't understand. Then he found the place where the sun rose. Is that the same thing? I mean, I don't know how he got to the walk west and found the Look. sun rise, but mm -hmm. uh, it's, is it's that the same thing? Where was it <laughs> from? <laughs> Another Muslim <laughs> school? Hmm? Okay. So, it still says, it still says that the, <laughs> that the sun sets in a muddy spring, RZ. No need for taqiyya anymore. You're failing to realize that's a perception. 
No, it's... no, where does it say it? I know Arabic like you. Where does it say it? Prove you, Rob. Rob where you does it even... say it? Where Rob. does it say that? حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس right وجدها تغرب في عين حمياء right حمياء يا عين حمياء right إذا عين حمياء it's مكان مكان هاي yeah it's it means a warm dark mud according to Sahih International that's that's the translation of Ayn al-Hamiyatin. Yeah, what does what does Ayn al-Hamiyatin means? Come on, translate. You you know Arabic, I know Arabic. Rob, I've been studying Arabic. You're studying, yeah, and I'm studying Arabic more than you, more longer than you. I'm older than you, my friend. You can see this clearly by how the way you actually. Uh, Bro, what is Ayn al-Hamiyatin? Ayn al-Hamiyatin. Yeah, what does that mean? It's a muddy spring. Thank you! So, the sun sets in a muddy spring. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you hear me what I said? The place where the sun is setting. Yeah, huh? Guys, who wants to say the Shahada? You're convinced, right, that the sun, which is a million times bigger than the earth, goes inside a muddy spring, a small muddy spring. You know how big you know how big the sun is, RZ, RZ. You know how big the sun is. It's bigger than the Earth one million more than one million times. So one Earth can fit mil, uh, more than one million times inside the sun. How is the sun, which is bigger than the Earth one million times, how is it fitting in a small muddy pool? Please answer. Uh, again, you're actually just. Uh just uh, lying at this point no no where did i lie i challenge you to show me where i lie i challenge yeah. you and i challenge your prophet you need to challenge your prophet because we showed you the hadith right let me post the yeah. hadith again you need to challenge your prophet call your prophet a liar this is your prophet speaking that, that, that hadith i just care about the quran yeah? ah but habibi this is sahih hadith the Quran tells me some, so something different. No. The Quran has no. authority. No, the hadith confirms the Quran. The Quran clearly says Dul Qurnain, which is Alexander the Great, saw the sun sitting down in a muddy spring. He saw it with his own eyes. It's a physical thing happening in front of him. So your Allah, your Allah, who is basically the alter ego of Muhammad himself, we know Muhammad actually believed that the sun sets in a muddy spring. That's what he believed. And it is confirmed also by the hadith. So Muhammad is nothing but a filthy scumbag liar, a fake prophet. And you need to accept that Muhammad was a liar. So leave Islam. Don't call me a liar because everyone is laughing at you. Everyone is, is dying from laughing. And you're the one who believes in this. After 1400 years, you still believe that the sun sets in a muddy spring. But I told you, I told you this, the sun is more than 1 million times bigger than the earth. So how is the, a, such a big sun going inside a small muddy spring how is this physically possible how is this scientifically possible come on man leave this cult leave islam it's clearly it's it, it's already eating your brains it starts to eating your brains because you're defending the lie of your fake prophet do you have respect no no do you have respect for your brains man do you have respect for your own brains let me let me answer please answer Okay, uh, first of all, uh, aside from the Quran, uh, the first people uh, to uh, to calculate the, uh, the, 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 the diameter were Muslim scientists. Eh? Muslim scientists? That's a new one. Since when are, do we have Muslim scientists? I'll, I'll, I'll bring you, the, bring you the, the sources. But now, uh, let me let me uh, continue. Uh, so the, the ayah says, Hatta idha balagha. What? He reached. Yeah. But 
when he reached yeah continue maghrib al-shamsi what is maghrib al-shamsi the place where the sun is setting so it's a physical thing <laughs> Oh man, this is guys. I just woke up and this guy already giving me a comedy show. This is a pure comedy, man, in the Quran. I'm trying to explain to you. I mean, guys, why would you pay fifty dollars to go show see a comedy show? Well, we have the Quran is showing us the comedy inside. Come on, I don't think he finished talking. Come on, Azzi, keep talking. I'm sorry, I just wanted about sheep and goats, but continue your answer, man. Maghrib al-Shamsi. Yeah, yeah, what? Maghrib. What does Maghrib al-Shamsi hmm? mean? It's, it's a setting. It's a place. Makan. Maghrib al-Shamsi means the place where the sun was setting. Right? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, sorry. I really, I can't stop laughing, man. You know, I just realized something. How can you reach the place where the sun sets? Isn't it always in the distance? I mean, uh, it, even if it was even if it was flat ground, it wouldn't look like it was right in front of you. It would always look like it was in the distance. And if there was a mountain, it would set behind the mountain. I don't understand how it could look like you 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 got to the actual place. It doesn't matter whether it was a hot spring or anything. If you got to a place where you think the place where the sun set, that's uh, I can't see that as being possible. Sorry, I just realized that now. Yeah, this is this is book was written by a Arab desert guy called Muhammad. He wrote uh, a comedy book, and you know these people, fourteen hundred years ago, Cloudy Kaaba, uh, they they had camels. They they lived inside tents. They loved to to listen to uh, legend stories, and Muhammad was telling them. Lovely legend stories. Muhammad got this from a legend story about Dul Qurnayn, who we believe that it's Alex Alexander the Great. And on Alexander top of that, you know, yeah, yeah, he was a fag and he was a pagan. And Sorry, Muhammad, night, right? yeah, and yeah, yeah, he was a he was gay. Uh, he was he was sleeping with men, but basically he was bisexual, right? Yeah. And and he was pagan. He was pagan. He was a jahil, right? He was a mushrik. As the Muslims love to call him, he he wasn't a prophet. And according to the Quran, Dul Qurnayn, Alexander the Great, is a prophet in Islam. Can you imagine? He was a Muslim. He was a believer according to the Quran. How is a pagan, a gay, bisexual guy sleeping with men and women? How is he a prophet of Allah? Well, we know no, from historical. I don't think he was a prophet. No. Yeah, that's what the Quran says, bro. He was a believer. He was not. Yes, he won't is. accept a gay guy, even if he's a general. He is, according to Quran, he oh. is. Rob. Yeah. What's up? Let me continue. Okay. Hatta ida balaga maghrib al-shamsi. Yes. What does maghrib al-shamsi means? The place where the sun is setting. It's a makan. Yes. Who? He found it setting. في عين الحماتين عين الحماتين الحم what is عين الحماتين warm spring it's a muddy warm it's spring a مكان yes a place yes no no then then the muddy spring was was the the place where the, where the sun was setting the, the place where the sun setting from yeah not not from in <laughs> stop lying stop adding no from so the from. sun goes inside the muddy spring don't say from it says في in it says in fee it goes inside why are you lying why are you lying you don't clearly you don't know arabic man you can read arabic but you don't understand arabic that's not my problem that's not my business go learn arabic rob what I've been studying arabic for for tens of years i i know arabic longer than you man and you clearly don't understand you are adding you, you could not even speak the text properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could not speak. I was reading behind you, man. Wasn't I oh, reading no. it? Listen, it says no. clearly, تغرب في عين حامئتين, right? So it goes inside. Let's not say that. A muddy spring. 
it says تغربو في عين حمئة yes so it goes inside a muddy spring it sets it sets it sets inside the muddy spring how many times do I need to repeat it So, are you going to leave Islam, my friend? Eh? For what? For? I'm asking you, are you going to leave Islam? Because what? this is a joke. This is a joke for your brains. Muhammad is lying to your brains here in this Quran. You're, you're the joke right now, bro. How? How? Where? Where? Where did you refute me? Comprehend Arabic. What? Prove it, you can't even uh, understand. Habib, is smart, smart. Bella, Bella, Lafwa Dawaran, okay? Bella, Lafwa Dawaran. Khali al Gizb, Andak, and Abuko Mak. Latiji takes the Balena, and Hanab Kalam Arabi, Akwas Minak, Wakwas Minabuko Mak, okay? Stop and stop insulting me. Okay, I'm not insulting you, I'm telling you, I know Arabic better than you and your father and mother. You're, you're insulting me and my brains for lying about your Quran. And you say I don't know Arabic? Shame on you. <laughs> you're you're lying to the people you say that I don't know Arabic. I just no, spoke in Arabic. I'm not Arabic and comprehend it. You can't. Lord you can't of mercy. Even read the text properly. You read the text and you translate. You clearly said it go the sun goes in a place. Where is the place? The hot spring. He saw it with Dulkornain saw it with his own eyes. You even translated. But you, you are adding words like uh, that are not there. It says fi, inside. It goes inside. The sun goes inside the muddy spring. Why are you lying? Fi, what does fi mean? Okay, can you translate the word fi? What does that mean? RZ? What does fi mean? Uh, fi means uh, in. In, thank you very much. So it goes inside. He saw the muddy, uh, the sun goes inside the muddy spring. Thank you very much. Where did I lie? And I think, RZ, you should stop drinking camel urine in the morning. It kills brain cells. You are, you are proving to us that you are drinking camel urine every morning. And because of that, you are reading the ayah, but you are adding and you are calling me a liar while you just translate for me that it clearly says Dul Qurnain saw with his own eyes the sun setting in you said it yourself in a muddy spring so stop drinking that camel urine every morning because it kills brain cells Rob, you've, uh, you, you've, uh, you've gone to show that you, uh, more that you can't even understand Arabic how? How I'm not understand. I'm I'm an Arab speaker. Shame on you for saying. It. Guys, imagine I tell Claudi Kaba, who lives in Ch Japan, I t say to him, Claudi Kaba, you don't know Japanese, bro. I know Japanese better than you. Arabic That's what he's native, saying. I can say I, I can tell you that you can't even speak Arabic, bro. Shame on you, man. Stop lying. خلي الجذب عندك ترك التقية ترك التقية عندك يا أرزيد. خليها إلك ما أريد التقية تبعك يا شيعة يا شيعة يا شيعة تقية بوي keep the تقية for yourself I Rob Christian I am very immune for تقية brother brother tell me tell me what does تقية mean what is what is تقية you know what تقية is when you when you wake up in the morning right you eat, you eat Zayt wa zatar, you put the taqiyya inside the zayt wa zatar and you eat it with the, with the lovely oriental bread, right? That's what's taqiyya. You put it inside the zayt and zatar, you do it with a little bit falafel and hummus on the side, and you eat it every morning with the breakfast. That's what taqiyya is. Agree? Do you agree? Oh no, that's uh, uh, okay. Uh, you're just uh, making fun of it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm making fun of Islam because Islam clearly is destroying your brain cells man and you say I don't speak Arabic let me tell your uh, your friends who can't speak Arabic and uh, who yeah yeah write. tell tell yeah tell tell, let tell. Me tell them what is taqiyya huh? okay tell I according to Rob Christian guys taqiyya is that thing what you eat every morning uh, uh, with your breakfast because clearly 
you are using it because it's inside your blood stream. This is why you are using it because you have the taqiyah. I don't have the taqiyah. I'm immune for it. Okay. Explain what taqiyah is. Go ahead. Is is uh, uh, concealing the faith in times of imminent danger. Well, you are in danger right now, right? You are sitting on a server with yeah. a lot of kafirs who are spanking you and your prophet and you can't do anything about it. So you are in danger. So this is why you are using taqiyya. I proved, I proved you can't even speak Arabic, Rob. I am, I am mocking you and your prophet and you say you don't speak Arabic. I am speaking Arabic. I just spoke Arabic. Liar. Stop lying. Arabic. Stop lying about me. Stop lying. Arabic native. I can tell that your Arabic is pretty. Uh, my Arabic is pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I can sing in Arabic. Very pretty. My friend. It's bad. <laughs> bad dick, bad dick, bad dick. Do you think I should apply for Arab Idol, bro? I think I have a really beautiful voice. Don't you think? Don't you agree? Maybe I can win it. Like Wael Kfuri or... Uh, uh, other people, right? Mulham Zain, Mulham Barakat, Nasif Zaytun. Maybe I think I can become the next Arab idol, guys. Or Muhammad Asaf. Maybe I can uh, become a rich guy. Hey, Rob, wait a minute. Do the Shias believe that uh, there's a Friday night karaoke party in Jannah? Where David sings and Muhammad. Yeah, sings. yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, uh, David will sing in the Jannah. You know. That's for Shias too. Yeah, it's it's for everyone. Uh, will you accept Muhammad as the messenger, the final messenger? I am back. Hey, welcome back, <laughs> Evrim. So, Evrim, we are talking. You're an Arab speaker, Evrim, right? Yes. Yes, Habibi. Oh, okay, Habibi. Ahlan wa sahlan fi akh. أخونا الحلو إفريم ولكم حبيبي سلام سلام ونعمة في هذا 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 المسلمي عم يجذب علي يقول أنت ما بتتكلم عربي أنا ما بك ما أنا ما بتكلم عربي إفريم حبيبي نتكلم نتكلم باللويندي can you read this Arabic ayah to confirm what it's saying and translate pros translate please إفريم we have a second Arabic speaker Okay, حتى إن بلغ مغرب الشمس ووجد تغرب في عين حمت ووجد عندها قوم كلنا يا ذا القرنين. Okay, stop, bro, bro, stop. Can you translate the first part the, all the way to uh, the muddy spring? Translate. Until he reached into where the sun sets and found it sits in عين حمت, which means. Something like a, a muddy water or hot water, springy huh? kind. Evrim, of are you sure that's what the Arabic says? Are you sure? Oh yes, I am certain. And this guy, I this guy says we are lying, bro. Ah, oh, that's fine. It says he says he's he's saying that we are translating it wrongly. We don't know Arabic. It's he says it looks as if. So he's adding the word as if. Okay. Can can I just uh, I'll 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 hop in here and I'll just say something quickly. Is he believe that the Quran, the Word of God, or not, my friend? Well, he's Shia Muslim, so he must believe. Do you believe that it's a Word of God? Evrim, yeah, yeah, I do. Evrim, uh, can you read it again? The the verse. A U R Z nine three. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So you 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 you're an Arabic speaker, right? Yeah. RZ, are you an Arabic speaker or not? I am. You are. So you're saying we're translating it wrong? Oh, uh, I I didn't. No, hold on. Uh, can you read the the verse again for me? Are you an Arabic speaker or not? Uh, you are Arabi? Yeah. So were you arguing just with Rob Christian whether he's an Arab or not? Why didn't you just talk to him? Oh, uh, we different uh, uh, the, regarding the uh, the meaning of the verse. Yeah, what does the what is the meaning, RZ? 
We have now two Arabic speaker and you are the third RZ. The real meaning. Yeah. What does it yeah. say? So, what does it say? I, to I told you about the, the real Okay, meaning. can you repeat what you said? Okay. Can I just yeah. go back to, to the verse itself? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go to the verses, verses itself. So let's get the Quran. Okay. Well, let's read it from the Quran directly, right? Yeah. Right. We read it from verse. 1886 it's already in the, in the general chat we'll do it in 80 five yeah five. Uh, you, uh... نحن قرانا 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 بدك نقراها 30 مرة 40 مرة مين اللي بيكلم مين اللي بيكلم مين اللي بيكلم يا مين اللي بيكلم يا ارزي يا هو از ذا وان توكينج هو از توكينج ان ذس اي هو از توكينج هو از توكينج ارزي از ات الله توكينج ارزي انسر هو از توكينج uh, Allah is uh, is uh, talking about the, the story of the Dhulqarnayn. Okay, thank you. Okay. يعني بيقول إن مكنا له. Do you know what that means? إن مكنا له. مكنا له. Yeah. Yeah, مكنا له. يعني we indeed established for him. So this is Allah. You're Allah talking. فاتتبع اتتبع سببا. حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس. So your Allah is saying that he went there. Yeah, he went actually physically to that place. And he saw with his own eyes the sun going inside. في عين حاميتن. So he saw the, with his own eyes happening that the sun is sitting inside the muddy spring. في عين حاميتن. Right, Evrim? Can you confirm? Your Allah said that specifically. That, what's the translation? Of? So Allah is speaking here. Allah is confirming Allah. that, yeah, Allah is confirming that Dhul Qurnayn, who, who is Alexander the Great, the so called uh, bisexual pagan Alexander the Great, he's a Muslim believer. I don't know how this happened, but anyway, that's off topic. He saw Alexander, he's, he's telling that Alexander the Great went to a place and he saw with his own eyes physically that. The sun is setting inside the muddy spring. So this is a physical appearance. And we also, Ibrahim, we even gave him the hadith. This is the hadith. This is the hadith from Sunan Abi Daud, Great Hassan. Can you read it, Ibrahim, please? Can you read it? Yes. Sahahu okay. al Albani. <laughs> and this is the hadith in Arabic. This, uh, you, wanna, you want me to read the hadith, hadith in Arabic? Yeah, read it. Read I'll get that for you too. Okay. I'll get that for you as well. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so this is Sunan Abu Dawood. Sunan Abu Dawood, yeah. Right? Yeah. Sahih Hadith. Yes. Sahih Hadith. Al Albani. Four thousand and two. Yeah. Right. So it says, "Hadathna Uthman min Abi Shayba an Wabid Allah bin Umar Ubaid Allah." عبيد الله that's right مسيرة مع أن قال حدثنا يزي يزيد بن هارون عن سفيان so there's, there's a couple of narrations here yeah this is the whole narration yeah. عطبة عن إبراهيم التيمي عطيبة عن إبراهيم التيمي 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 عن عن أبي عن أبي ذر 
أبي زر أبي ذر قال كنت قال كنت كنت رديف رسول الله رديف رديف so he says basic basically he's behind him right ولا فرص الله وهو على حمار والشمس عند غروبها فقال هل تريد أن هل هل تدري أين تغرب هذه yeah do you know where it sits do you know where it sits yeah قلت الله ورسوله أعلم yeah so Allah and His Prophet knows best right so so this is now this is now the hikma the hikma coming from Rasulullah yeah قال قال landing in Hamma عين حم it sits in the muddy spring so so can you repeat can you repeat the last part قال can you translate قال he said yeah قال فإن تغرب في عين حامي so, this is, this is so Muhammad saying, you. so are you telling me Muhammad says it sets in a spring yes. of warm water? Can you confirm it, Ibrahim? That's right. Thank I'm you. So have, we have a second Arabic speaker, guys, who agrees with Rob Christian that the Prophet of Islam, according ah. to the Hadith, it says, it says the sun sets in a muddy spring. So it's a physical thing and Muhammad confirms the ayah of the Quran. So we showed you the ayah of the Quran and we showed you the hadith that confirms from the mouth of Muhammad, it confirms the ayah of Allah. Okay, Rob. I just, I just posted it for uh, you, RC. Uh, can I just uh, speak now? Go ahead. Uh, first of all, uh, Ibrahim, uh, you can't actually read uh, properly, just, just prove it. قال فانها تغرب في عين في عين في عين حاميه ف you, you're RZ, you're you're dropping in and out. I don't know if you can hear us, but the problem is I'm fi I'm fixing them with the mic. Okay, you okay. No worries. Now the problem is Arabic itself at this time was not written yet properly until later on. This boat meant so many different things. You can put a, a hamza on top of it. You can put two dots down the bottom, so that's a yeah. Exactly. You can put two dots at the top. This the T. So Hamia or Hamia is the two different ways you can say it. Yes. So I've proven actually another problem with with Arabic writing. Yeah. By the way. No, no, that's that, that's not a problem. Reason. It's called I doubt you actually studied that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's he's a professor. You're a clear professor, RZ. Yeah, yeah. I I, I still studied Arabic. Yeah. So guys, guys, to you know this this topic is already uh, taken too long. Basically, uh, we can conclude that Allah Allah is wrong. Allah is wrong about the sun. RZ, you're echoing. RZ, you're echoing. You're echoing. Exactly. Fix the mic. So, uh, Avrim, Avrim, I have uh, a question no. because this guy clearly uh, has no clue. Can you read this? Can you read no. this ayah for me, Avrim? Just uh, to since we started to talk about the Arabic, can you read this yes. ayah for me and tell me if there is a problem in the grammar? Yes. I post in the room. Can you read it and tell yes. me where's the problem in this grammar? In the first ayah of the Quran, guys, chapter 1, ayah 1, in the Al-Fatiha. Can you tell me the grammar okay. problems? Be Ismallah is written Bism as in be. Uh, okay, so the first word is written wrong, right? The first word is written yes. wrong. So it should be be Ism, it says Bism, right? So it's written like this, Bism, but it the correct is be Ism. Yes, so we already found one problem. What about the third word, Al-Rahman? Rahman has a silent 
Alif, which yeah. is a dagger. Are you are you telling me the, the yeah? Are you telling me that the elf in the middle is missing? Yes, it is. See, so guys, without the vowel, it's written like this: Al Rahman. So the a the a is missing. So they fixed it with a vowel. No, 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 no. Yes, no, yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. no. Yes, yes, yes. So Allah, so Allah could not write his name. Allah could not write his name properly. So we need to ask Allah and the Prophet to go back to elementary no, school no, 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 no. and learn basic grammar. You're lying. You are lying, Rob. How you am I lying? lying? How am I lying? Can you read it? Can you read it without the vowels? Yes. How? Where's the elf? Where is the elf? Where's the elf in the middle? Without the vowels. Okay, okay. RC, do you know what the problem is? Yeah? You realize what the problem is? All this language. This is this is basically the writing style yeah, yeah. for the with Arab. No, no, hang on, hang on. RC, I want you to listen to me very, very clearly here, because this is very. So my, uh, my mic is. Is it echoing now? A little bit, not, not, not Just listen for a second, RC. Your mic, your mic is echoing. I'll mute you because your mic, mic is echoing, uh, RZ. Fix your mic, please. Continue, Ibrahim. Okay. Now, if you go back and start looking at the manuscripts from the 7th century, the 8th century, this is the early 8th century, and the beginning, basically the end of the 6th, where uh, supposedly Muhammad was around, you have a very big problem. Because all of it is consonants with no vowels at all. Yes, it has no this vowels. This is one of the problems you find. Yeah. That's right. And this is one of the problems that you have. In, 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 in Fatiha is written with essentially no vowels. Yes. And you literally, it was narrated from one person to the other person. So you have to know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Now, the letters here, because it's a consonantal language, right? You gotta remember, Hebrew is a consonantal language, Aramaic is a consonantal language, all these languages are consonantal. So you have to know how to actually read them. The problem is, Arabic never had a writing. So what they had to do is they had to steal the writing from what's called the Nabati. The Nabati didn't have vowels because all they did was basically talk to each other. So they'd narrate something to each other and write it as close as possible so, so they both know what they're talking about okay every if is, can i can i add yeah can can i add to something to what you said bro so guys if yes. you if you listened carefully basically what's happening uh the the original quran of earth man did not have vowels it didn't have dots so what happened guys let me let me try to explain it i got something from google Peace be upon him. The Prophet Google of peace be upon him. <laughs> Guys, you need to understand that the Quran supposedly came in the 7th century, according to uh, to the Islamic sources. So, Islamic sources, yeah, so Uthman, yeah, Uthman ordered Zayd ibn Thabit and his team to collect the Quran and write it in the dialect of the Quraysh, right? In perfect copy. That happened in the 7th century, right? Guys, take notes. It happened in the 7th century and that time there were no vowels in the text and no dots, right? So I posted something in the, in the room, guys. Read with me. The evolution of the early Arabic calligraphy happened in the, between the 9th century and the 11th century. The Basmala was taken as an example from the Kufic Quranic manuscript. So guys, they added the vowels and the dots much later, two centuries later, to the Arabic text. So the Arabic text was reformed, right? It was changed and they started to add what? The vowels and the dots to make it easier for the people, as Evrim said. So when you see this, let me post it again. You need to understand that the Quran originally was without the things that are on top and on uh, beneath. So, how are you going to read this without any dots, without any vowels, Evrim? If you remove everything, how are you going to read it? That's the problem. And that is the problem. I'm, I'm posting something right now. I'll just show you it quickly. Angel protector. 
So if we look at this word he, this is the word that you would probably have in a verse like this one. I'll just show you the verse. Yeah. Uh, wrong one. Kaliahum, oh. right? Kaliahum. So this is the word angel that is as a protector. Kaliahum. But this is how it's written in the in the Quran. Kalbahum. Yeah. So the, their their guardian became their dog. <laughs> Guys, because of the changing of the dots and the vowels, the guardian, the angel, became a dog. Can you confirm, Evrim? Yes. Exactly. exactly what's happening. So, so guys, the they word, put... The word they is put... actually written. Yeah. Sorry, the, the, the basically what they did is when they were writing this, they were copying it from a Christian source. And the Christian source was basically talking about how... Yeah, this is the sev seven sleepers, right? Huh? That's this, right, the seven sleepers. Yeah, this it is the seven the sleepers. Christian yeah. Yes, that's right. And, and it was taken from a Christian writer. And when they were right, when it's written in, in the Aramaic, there's a stop. Yeah. And you have an aleph, and out of the aleph, after the aleph, you stop and you start the uh, the ha and the mim. Right? Ephraim, uh, I want to explain to, to the room uh, what we're saying here because right. maybe yes. they don't understand. Guys, the seven sleepers of Ephesus, that's what Ephraim is talking about, is found that's back the in the Quran. Yes. The seven sleepers story was written by an Aramaic priest in this year 250. In the year 250. Right? So Muhammad stole the Muhammad stole this uh, story, right? And he put it inside the Quran because remember Muhammad died in the year 632 and this story was circling around the Arabic Peninsula, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea, on all the countries around it. It was circling between the Christians, and it was written in the year 250. So Muhammad, as a merchant under Khadija, he had access to all these stories. He had access to all these books. He was hearing stories. So he implemented the story of the seven sleepers of Ephesus, which is a Christian story, he implemented it inside the Quran, but he made a mistake. Instead of saying, Kaliahum, their guardian, who was guarding the cave, the opening, uh, the, the entrance of the cave, because the, the Christians, yeah, the Christians were getting persecuted by Romans. So they went inside the cave and an angel was guarding the, the entrance. But Muhammad stole the story, right? And he put it in the Quran and the guardian, the guardian, Kaliahum, became Kalbahum. Right, Ephraim? Just, uh, Rob, uh, just one question. Just, uh, just quickly, RZ, just to, to capitalize on what okay. we're talking about, so that way we can explain. I'll just quickly tell you. Uh, by the way, this is all written in the same chapter, chapter 18. Yes. Chapter 18 is a, is, is it's a big mess, disaster. right? It's a big yes. mess. As a reason. The reason for that was because the Jewish people worked out that Muhammad is not a prophet. So what they did was they came back with questions. And one of the questions was the uh, Zulkarnain, right? And the seven sleepers and the spoon. So that's these three things uh, kind of made their way into chapter 18 and yeah. a few other chapters. It's a, it's a really disaster, a disaster. Yeah, it's, it's a disaster for us. Yes. Yeah. The whole thing was basically a comedy for the yeah. for the Jewish community. Because yeah, they really worked out that yeah. Well. Chapter eighteen makes Islam really look bad, guys. It's a big disaster. It has so many historical issues. It has so many grammatical issues. Right? If we read chapter eighteen, we should ask Allah and the Prophet of Islam to go back to Arabic elementary class to learn grammar. The Arabic grammar all over again. And even as we showed you before, even chapter 1, ayah 1, the very beginning of the Quran contains grammatical issues. So Allah and the writer of the Quran, in this case Muhammad or anyone else who was writing the Quran, he clearly didn't know Arabic. And they tried to fix it, guys, they tried to fix it with vowels and dots. 
and they failed because as Evrim showed you the guardian Kaliahom guardian the angel became Kelbahom because of the dot that is placed wrong right Evrim the dot yeah that's right. the dot was below the dot. yeah so how is a dog guys how is this tiny dog going to protect the poor Christians inside the cave from the Roman soldiers this must be a this must be a huge dog, Evrim. A big huge dog, right? A monster. Uh, can I can I, I speak now? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, can I say uh... Hey look, RC is being really patient. I think you guys should let him answer. Yeah, answer. On, yeah, yeah, he can answer. Right. He can answer. Okay. okay. First of all, I uh, I've uh, I've looked up this matter and uh, I've I've seen it on, on Linga.org. الاقتباس والتأليف وراء لغ... للغة شبهة التحريف. Hmm? It's, it's, it's written by and you guys actually can't even agree on what was the, what was the, the story here. here, here he which says, story? Uh, which story, RZ? Which story are you talking about? About كاليهم and كلبهم. Yeah, we actually have the real story. Uh, no, you, you do not have any proof uh, for that. Really? And, that, is, uh, wait, 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 wait! Don't say you don't have proof. Shame on you. We are the Christians here. Muhammad, your prophet, stole the story from us. From us. Wait. Uh, wait. Let I, me show you. Let me show you. This is a Christian no, no, story. Uh, I, uh, this is Britannica. This is Britannica.com. Wait. 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 Stop. Stop. You called us liars, guys. This is the story of the seven sleepers. I said you didn't do any. Didn't uh, don't have any proof. We have proof. We have proof. We, this is a well-known Christian story. Seven Sleepers uh, of Ephesus is a world-famous story about Christians and who went. We even have. We if you go to Turkey, guys. If you go to Ephesus right now in Turkey, this is in Turkey. You can see that cave. Did you uh, know that, guys? How many people know about this? You can go and visit and see and see their graves. They even their graves are inside the cave. Yeah. Sure. So don't say RZ. Don't say you don't know. Just, we know nothing. better than you. We know better than your Allah, and we know better than your fake prophet. Shame on you okay. for saying uh, uh, you don't continue. know. Let me continue, and then you speak, please. Huh? Okay, but don't lie. You are uh, you are our lying. guest. You are our guest. Don't lie. You will get busted. Hmm? Hold on. Okay. You you will get served and you will get busted, my friend. Please let me continue. Uh, so what 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 his four legs at the entrance. At the there entrance. is no dog. There is no dog. It's an angel. Don't you understand? Bro, we are talking about Christians. Listen, no, no, listen, no, no. Abdul, Abdul, listen, 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 <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen, Abdul. Don't, I'm losing my patience with you. Listen, this is a Christian story. It's a man made Christian story. Okay, this is a Christian story. It's not inside the Bible. Yeah, no, no, you know, it, 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 it could have uh, a really, uh, uh, some, some, uh, wait, Evrim, Evrim, wait a second, bro, just a second. This is a historical uh, thing that happened, guys. We actually believe, yeah, people are getting persecuted. They went inside the cave, right? They, they died, they even stayed in that cave because they were getting persecuted. They died and we have even the historical evidence that there are, inside that big cave go to turkey you can find the grave inside that cave okay but it's not in our bible this story was put on paper in the year 250 which is which came much later than the bible itself than the new testament itself this is why it's not inside the bible guys so it doesn't mean it's it, it's a fake story. No, it it can be real, right? It can be a real story, but it happened in the year 250. Now wait, wait a second. Here comes the problem. What does a man-made story, so a written by a historian or a priest, what does it do inside the Quran of Allah? Is it a divine story? No. 
And that's the problem that you don't see RZ. That's our point. The point is, what does a story that is written by a Christian, by a historian, by a Christian, what does it do in your so-called divine book of Allah? And why is the story changed? According to the real story, an angel of God was guarding the poor persecuted Christians so that the Romans could not come and kill them. Why did Allah change the story? He made it from an angel to a dog. Why, RZ? Answer the question. So question number one. What, why did Allah put the, a man-made story inside the Quran? It's not divine, but he made it look as divine. And why did he change the story? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, first of all, the, the story was talking about uh, belie believers, right? Seven believers. Christians, believers right? What? Believing in what? In Jesus, right? As their Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. They are Christians. They believe mm -hmm. in Jesus as mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were they believing in, Arzi? Yeah. What was their belief? What were they being persecuted for? No, just don't know. For believing that Jesus is their Lord and God and their Savior, who died on the cross, died for them, and they didn't want to convert to paganism. They didn't want to leave okay. Christianity. Uh, so, uh, this is why they were getting persecuted, right? Uh, okay, so the ayah says, وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَعَيْهِ بِالْوَصِيدِ huh? Okay. okay, I want to hear this one. Uh, yeah. Dogs, good, bro. Just wait, wait a second. I want to hear this out. Hear, hear this out. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, go, ahead. go for it. I want, I want to hear this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَعَيْهِ بِالْوَصِيدِ And while the dog stretched his four legs at the entrance. The entrance. Okay. Must be a huge, must be a huge dog, right, uh, RZ? Big, yeah. big okay. dog. Yeah, yeah. Go for it, yeah. It's yeah. a Pomeranian dog. Uh, no, no. Uh, if you uh, did, you read the. Uh, hold on. Okay. If you, if you had looked at them, you would have turned from them in flight and been filled by them with terror. Okay. Hmm? I have a question, RZ. Since you read it, can you tell me who these people are, where where they're from, what year they lived? Can you tell me from the Quran? Ex uh, answer those three questions. Where, who they are these people? Who are these people? What did they believe in? Which year yeah. they lived? And and uh, what happened to them? Answer, please. سيقولون ثلاثة ثلاثة رابعهم كلبهم. Who are these people? Who are those people? Three, the fourth of them being their dog. Okay, who are those people? Ah, uh, the, the the surah does not mention. So it does not mention. Oh, okay. It no. does not mention. So are you telling me Allah is the worst communicator ever? So he's talking about a story, guys. To understand the story as a Muslim, you need to go outside the Quran. You need to go to Christian sources, right? <laughs> to understand what's happening. And if we go to the Christian uh, 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 sources, we understand that Allah made a mistake. The Prophet of, of Islam made a mistake because the real story that is written in, two, in the year 250 is talking about Christians who believe that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. They were persecuting for believing that Jesus is their Lord and Savior by Romans. They went inside the cave and before the cave, there is an angel guarding the cave. Muhammad stole the story from the Christian story from oh. the seven sleepers of Ephesus and he changed it. He didn't tell who the who these people are. He, he didn't tell you in what year they lived. He didn't tell you who or what they believe in. And he even changed the complete story. Is this a prophet of God? <coughs> and what does a man-made story written by a historian or a priest, what does it do in a so-called divine book? And why is it changed? Rob. Answer, man. I love this. Uh, uh, hold on. Answer, yeah. please answer. For the love of God, answer. Uh, okay. Uh, the, ayah, the ayah says, they will say there were three, the fourth of them being their dog. And they will say, the, they will say the, they, they were five. Uh, the sixth, the sixth of them. Okay, uh, so you can't even, so even the Quran. So guys, did you catch it? The Quran, Allah and the Muhammad cannot agree if they are five 
if they are six or they are seven. No, no, no. Then, then it says, "Qur Rabbi a'lamu bi'addatihim." So, so Allah a'lam, right? Allah a'lam how many they are, right? Allah knows best how much they are. Right? No, no, you, you're just making the connection of, uh, of, of the yeah. story. Okay, okay, how the much, how much Christians, okay, how famous. much, okay, okay, how much Christians are inside that cave? No, five, I mean, in, in, four, in the, five, in, six, or seven? Answer. Hold on, in, the, in the, the story of the Christians, there were seven. Yeah, how many are there in the Quran? It, it does not state Allahu A'lam. Allahu A'lam! Allahu Akbar! <laughs> Take me here, guys! Take me! That, that's the point uh, I was Bro, making. I am now sure, I am convinced to take my shahada and become a Muslim. Mate. Okay, here is my shahada. No, no, I was. La ilaha illa Yasu' al Masih. If, if the Quran, if the Quran Guys, thank you, stated, thank you for this comedy show. No, no, no. Thank you, it's enough. We hear enough. Thank you. Thank you for this comedy show.